Our relationship with NVIDIA is fantastic. It goes back many years, and I can honestly say we wouldn't be where we are today with our professional products without NVIDIA's collaboration. Going back to the CS5 timeframe when we rewrote the entire core of Premiere Pro from 32-bit to 64-bit, we re-architected to make sure that we could take advantage of every single compute resource in that platform. And that included really looking at GPU. So NVIDIA partnered with us to make sure that became a reality. And it's proven to be an essential part of our file-based workflow strategy. NVIDIA and Adobe have a very fluid relationship. Uh, it starts at the engineer-to-engineer -engineer level, where engineers from NVIDIA and engineers from Adobe are in regular contact, whether it's regular uh, engineering meetings or face-to-face -face, uh, discussions, brainstorming sessions. It's almost like another engineering team within NVIDIA. We collaborate with them that closely. We have a long history with NVIDIA. Uh, we started working together uh, on GPU acceleration that uh, showed up in CS5. Uh, that became the Mercury playback engine that uh, Premiere Pro has used successfully uh, for many, many years. It accelerates playback of virtually all types of video, uh, allows us to run effects uh, in, in real time, and it's just delighted customers with its performance and quality. Probably the best example of GPU acceleration in a creative workflow is with Premiere Pro and the Mercury Playback Engine. But it doesn't stop there. You look at After Effects, for instance, with NVIDIA Optics technology to bring 3D ray tracing. You look at Photoshop with different effects like blur modes and other things that are accelerated there. You look at Speed Grade with the Lumetri Color Engine. Across a lot of different products and a lot of different capabilities, the GPU acceleration is going to be the number one thing that affects the performance of the users. All the work we did with NVIDIA in the early days is continuing to bear fruit. Today, one of the biggest trends is centralizing compute resources. This allows a large media enterprise to have a completely virtually connected workflow. We were able to take the same technology uh, that we put into Premiere uh, and use that in anywhere. So now we've taken the Mercury playback engine and we've moved that to servers so we can centralize the computation of effects uh, on the servers to support multiple clients. And uh, at the same time, we get to take advantage of all of the new encoding hardware that NVIDIA has just added. Uh, that hardware really is made anywhere as a product practical. Uh, before that, uh, I don't think anywhere could have existed as a product. Now folks can collaborate, they can work uh, remotely over long distances because of the Mercury playback uh, rendering of effects that we can get in real time and this uh, hardware accelerated encoding that we get. It's fantastic. One of the reasons our customers are adopting Creative Cloud is so that they can be ready for the future. Um, we release updates to our products on a regular basis and NVIDIA is there in lockstep with us making sure that their latest and greatest technologies work with ours. For creative professionals, the most important thing about Creative Cloud is that together Adobe and NVIDIA can bring a much faster rate of innovation to users. They can get updates more frequently, NVIDIA can bring new GPU accelerated capabilities working with Adobe to our users and that's the best thing for everybody.